We did the damn thing. Holy crap. Um, it's been a minute since I've come on YouTube, but if you do follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I've been contemplating creating a YouTube series for the road to nationals. So let's rewind a little bit. Your girl competed in her first show and I ended up placing second in my class and third in true novice. So if you're not familiar with like the competing world, your class is basically your height class. So you'll get placed in like A, B, C based off of how tall you are. So I was placed in height class C and I placed second in my class. Um, so that happened to qualify me for national. So if you place first or second, you can qualify to step on the national stage. So I was hyped. That was my whole goal going into this and I achieved it faster than I expected. Um, not to say that I didn't put in the work that was needed because there were some tough times. I am still coming down from that weekend. It is now Wednesday, September 16th and my show is on September 12th. So just to recap a little, I've been prepping for six months now. We started at the very beginning of March. It was not an easy prep. In fact, it was probably the toughest thing that I've ever put myself through, and it was all very, very worth it. As glamorous as show day can be, and just seeing these girls in their bikinis with their hair and their makeup fully done and their body looks awesome. It's easy to fantasize about it or maybe even spark your interest in possibly competing. But I do wanna make it clear that while show day is very exciting, is very glamorous, the road getting there is far from any of that. And so I did make sure to take a few videos of me at some of my lowest points. I had a lot of sessions, cardio sessions on the treadmill where I was crying through some of them. I had a lot of workouts where I would cry and I'm not a very emotional person at all. So even saying that is like, what? Um, and there was just a lot of self doubt, a lot of, I don't want to say giving up because I never truly wanted to give up, but there were moments where I definitely questioned if all of it was worth it because it would get so difficult. Lots of nights going to bed hungry. Um, it was very, very challenging. All right, so I've had to kind of like compose myself. I freaking hate crying. Um, so I just kind of wanted to document this and like my current thoughts and feelings because I know prep is gonna fly by and I just feel like looking back at even some of the really hard times is just something that I want documented. Um, I was doing my cardio and I didn't sleep well last night. Sleep has been definitely taking a hit. I wake up having to pee in the middle of the night and I wake up, you know, hungry then when I have to pee. And so like sleep is just all over the place, which doesn't help my emotions, but it was a hard session that I really didn't want to do. It was legs and I especially didn't want to do my cardio and I had 15 minutes left and I just felt like overcome with emotions, like just overwhelming, just strong emotions. And it's really weird and I think it's just something that happens in prep. And it's probably the first time it's happened and I'm a little over five weeks out so it makes sense. Like things are really hard right now. But like between self-doubt and just like trying to push through and stress. And then like, you know, I've got blisters on my feet from this freaking cardio and I'm hungry and I don't have any energy. And I had to like cancel plans with friends and it's just like, feels like it's consuming me right now. Other like weird random emotions come up. Like I lost my dad a little bit over a year ago and like, times that are really hard make me miss him more because he was definitely like my number one supporter. Get it fucking together, girlfriend. Um, 
So like when times are really hard, when I would usually reach out to him, it's just really, that's like the time that I miss him most because that's the time that I would have like reached out to him, you know? So like I realized that he's gone more so than just to be like held by him. It would be really nice right now. But that's just freaking life. Like I have it so good still and I need to, I know tomorrow will be a better day. I just need to sleep it off. It was a choice that I made to do this and I've come too far to only come this far. So I'm gonna push through. I just really wanted to like document how I'm feeling. One, cause it feels almost like a journal. And two, just to like kind of look back on this, like times where I really miss prep, this will put it into perspective and reality. Like there was some freaking hard ass times. I actually do feel better. Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow will be a better day. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I'm grateful for this life. This is a choice that I made. And I will push through. All right. Prep feels part. We don't know, we're not counting. Who's counting? Ah, oh, you guys. This time, I'm just like overwhelmed with good emotions. Like it just, I don't know, like I Don't be a little bitch. Don't be a little bitch. That's it, that's all you have to do, Audrey. I just like feel so grateful and like, I can't speak. <laughs> I literally can't speak, this is embarrassing. Um, things are just like coming together a little bit more. But like honestly, I'm just really fucking proud of myself. This has been tough, dudes. I'm having like such a good day today where I'm just like, fuck, I did that. I did that. And it just feels really good. We're almost there. It's the final stretch. We are 15 days out from my first show. And I've got lots of prep feels, mainly just feeling really grateful and excited and overwhelmed today. So I've had some really, really, really hard days where I've questioned if I can even get through it, and then I do. But I don't want to just document that, right? Like, there's definitely some good days of prep, and today is one of those where I'm just like, wow. What a journey, dude. What a journey. Anyways, I'm going to peace out. It's a good day. We're going to get there. One day at a time. All right, signing out. So I don't want to hype it up. I don't think competing is for everybody, and just by doing my first show, I've realized that is definitely the truth um but hopefully this series will give you guys some insight as to what every day can look like for a bikini competitor and hopefully it might also motivate you even if you just are looking to get more fit so i'm going to throw in some clips from show day and just kind of give you guys a little bit of a recap of Pretty much the best day I've had in years. Second place, number 61, Audrey Adams. Which makes you 
the winner, number 63, Jessica Shepard. Yeah, so that was my first show experience and it was absolutely amazing, like I've said a thousand times. But I want to give you guys a rundown, a quick rundown of my plans, my upcoming plans for the rest of this season when I plan to step on stage again. So as of right now, my coach and I have decided on Junior Nationals, which is going to be in Chicago on October, they say October 30th through November 1st, I believe, but they haven't completely set the dates yet since Chicago's a shit show right now. So that is the tentative plan right now. It will be my first time stepping on a national stage, my second competition, and there will be a lot of competition there. It is a very large show as far as I'm aware. So that'll be really exciting. It'll be a push, a challenge. My ultimate goal is just to bring my best package, but to receive feedback from judges on a national level and to be compared to girls who have been competing on a national level for quite a while now. So as much as I would love to place in the top callouts um, or have a high placing, I don't wanna go in with that expectation because I am such a newbie and I do know that I have a lot of room for improvement before I even compare to the girls who are on that level. Um, so really just going into it, wanting to have fun. I've never been to Chicago before, so we're gonna make an experience out of that. Probably stay for a couple of days after and yeah so those are my competition plans and i do plan on sharing with you guys this journey and i'm going to call this series the road to nationals so i hope you guys stay with me through this journey i'm going to attempt to upload at least once a week if i can upload more than that that would be awesome but essentially i plan on just showing you guys like what i'm eating a lot of you responded to my instagram story just saying um, I'd like to see how you balance work and school and your personal life um, with competing and then, you know, regular lifestyle type things like what I do for my workouts, my eating, all of that. So a lot of them will probably just be day in the lives, but I did want to just give you guys the rundown and the future plans for the rest of this competing season. I've loved every minute of it so far. As soon as I stepped on stage, I just felt I belonged. And although the road to get there was extremely hard, it was all so, so worth it. So thank you guys so much for your support through this entire prep. And thank you guys for watching this. I hope you continue to follow along in this road to nationals. And I will catch you guys for episode one. Bye.